Hey people, let me tell you something. This Kamora Lee Simmons is a, it's a joke. This is a joke. You know what I'm saying? She's in the news, but this is a joke. Number one, Kimora Lee Simmons. Now, I can understand the last name because, you know, when you so-called supposed to have got married or get married, you're supposed to take on the last name of your husband. So, I understand the last name, Simmons. But where the hell did Kimora come from? Can anybody go into the deep parts of China or, or or one of them Korean countries or one of them Chinese countries? Go into those deep parts. I don't know if she's Korean, Chinese. I don't know what she is. But I can guarantee you, you won't find no name like Kimora. Kimora? Come on, people. Do you see how much they pull in the wall over your eyes? Okay. Because I know some of you say, oh, here you go bashing her now. No, let me tell you something. Look at her kids. Look at her kids' names. All, all of her kids got the names of her culture. Whether she's Korean or Chinese, I don't know what kind of names they are. But look at all of her kids' names. They got the same names that come from out of her culture. She's the only one with a name like Kimora. That's like a ghetto vibe, a ghetto fied version of Kim. Do you see what? Do you see where this is fake at? You know what I'm saying? This is just as fake as Russell Simmons' marriage to her. Now, I don't know how much you know about fake-ass Kimora Lee Simmons. But a long, long time ago, they could have scrubbed the internet and got rid of all of that evidence. But a long, long time ago, it was a scandal with Russell Simmons. That Russell Simmons, when when Kimora so-called, I'm going to say so-called, I'm going to express that so-called. When Kimora so-called left or divorced Russell Simmons, it was a scandal that Russell Simmons had signed a contract. And that's the reason why. They got together in the first place. And the terms of that contract is. After Russell Simmons. So called. Produce these kids. And be married. To Kamora's for a period of time. They are to split. And as. And the part of they split. Kamora. Will get. Baby fat. And a slew of other companies as part of the agreement. This was all in the non-disclosure agreement with their getting together. Now I know you probably be like, well, where's the proof? No, 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 no. This is facts. And if you ask any old school, old school veteran, they'll tell you. Because back in the day, baby fat was a shiznick. I used to get all type of baby fat clothing for my girl. It was the shiznick. You know what I'm saying? And back in the day, fat farm clothing was the shiznick. I used to order all type of fat farm clothes. I used to even have the fat farm shoes. See what I'm saying? So, yes, it was. You know what I'm saying? It was popping back then. So you ask, ask any old school vet. You know what I'm saying? That knows about, you know what I'm saying? The baby fat and the fat farm. You know what I'm saying? The, the old school clothing. The old school, you know what I'm saying? Because that's where we from. We from the old school. We going to tell you like it is. They was put together and it was, it was a whole big scandal over, over that. That, that they split and, you know what I'm saying, they marriage was a hoax. And, you know what I'm saying, and, you know what I'm saying, Kamora came into it knowing that she, if she stay with him this long, she's going to split and get baby fat. She's going to split and get a lot of other companies. It was part of the agreement. That's why I tell you, all these other celebrity marriages, it's not a marriage, it's an agreement. It's not a marriage. It's put together by the elites. And when they split, they agree 
and they sign that contract. You understand? So now, all I, all I, all I, all I gotta say is just, just look at, look at Kamora Lee Simmons' kids. Look at they, look at their name. Why ain't Kamora got a name like their kid, like her kids, or an original? Korean or Chinese or whatever she is, why don't they got? Uh, why ain't she got an original name? Huh? I mean, her daughter is named Ming. Why ain't Kamora named Ming? You guys can't see that. Or oh, maybe Kamora's name is original. She maybe she do have an original name. Just that Kamora is just a name that the elites gave her as part of being in the spotlight. Maybe, maybe that's not her original name. But anyway, with all that being said, she's in the news again. Uh, well, of adopting a 10-year-old little black boy. It's a damn shame what they're going to do to that 10-year-old little black, black boy. It's a damn shame what they're going to do there. Like you ain't got enough kids. Like you have to go and adopt a ten year old but now I'm not ain't nothing wrong with adoption. Ain't nothing wrong with adoption. Ain't nothing wrong with adopting, you know what I'm saying, ten year old black boys, but what is the purpose? What is your purpose, Miss Fake Kamora Lee Simmons? What is your purpose on adopting this ten year old black boy, huh? Now I just got this news report across my news desk, so you know what I'm saying, I still gotta do my research on the Reason why she's adopting this 10 year old black boy, but you best believe it's not pretty. Maybe, maybe it's because how long has she been out of the picture? Maybe it is how long has it been since her and Russell been apart? How long has it been? Has it been 10 or 20 years? How long has it been since her and Russell has been out of the picture? You best believe this 10-year-old boy is a ritual. You best believe this 10-year-old boy is probably a symbolism, a symbolization of her remaking herself. After being apart from Russell Simmons for I don't know how long they they've been apart for I don't know how long they have um been divorced for, but I know it was right around maybe ten years right, maybe ten or ten or I, I know it ain't twenty years. It's got to be like ten or maybe fifteen years that her and Russell have been separated, has been apart. And this ten year old black boy, you know this ain't no you notice know it's not no ten year old African boy. Usually these satanic scumbags go and adopt African boys. Notice this ain't no ten year old African boy. No, it's a ten year old black boy. That's a symbolization. But uh I'm gonna dig more deeper into this and see what the see what the real reason why this damn fake damn woman done adopted this 10 year old black boy so stay tuned for that i'm your host thank you for thank you for tuning in logging on to another episode of the spiritual food hour right i mean that's spirit i'm sorry spiritual food hour that's over on facebook you know what i'm saying i do that every evening you know what i'm saying on facebook you can go there by going to 90.1 a.m radio live on facebook and tune in to that spiritual food hour every evening over there on Facebook, hit that like button while you're over there. But this is the Illuminati News Hour. And if you're new to this channel, hit that like button. Hit that, that hate button if you hate this show. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that comment button if a question or a comment. Also, if you want to donate to this ministry, you're welcome to do so by simply going to our Facebook fan page, 90.1 AM Radio Live. Go to that Facebook fan page, hit that like button, and hit that donation button. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.